Welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how I am efficient. Because if there is anything that I am, it's efficient. <laughs> I'm a very efficient person. And that is something that I'm good at, so I would like to share my tips with you today. Those of you who have seen my self-publishing success story uh, video on YouTube here, I will put an iCard for it above. Um, you know that I mentioned in the video that I am an efficient person, I pride myself on efficiency, and I like to get things done. And people are always asking me, Jennifer, how, how do you write books and um, have a large family at the same time? How do you do all of that um, without a lot of help? And it's just because I, I'm very good at managing my time and setting priorities. So I'm excited to help you with that today, hopefully in this video. Okay, so have I always been an efficient person? I would definitely say that it is part of my personality. Even when I was a, a young student in elementary school, I remember being in class and feeling frustrated with inefficiency. <laughs> and um, I would always want to get my work done in an efficient way or just do things in a way that just made more sense to me. And there is something about my personality uh, where I just, I really don't like it when I feel like time is being wasted. Now I'm not saying that any of this is good necessarily, but when I do have these attributes, they definitely help me when I'm trying to get things done. So I haven't always been like this. I went through a, a phase, you know, when I was in college in my early 20s where on one hand I was very efficient where I was working, working a lot basically. And on the other hand, I wasted a lot of time as well. And I think that's something that a lot of young people um, they grapple with. They leave their home, you know, with their parents and then they're out on their own and they, they are suddenly in charge of their schedule and their time. And so I think a lot of young people today, um, you know, they, they can watch as much TV as they want to. They can, <laughs> they can go on the internet all day and no one's going to tell them to get off so that they just get in the habit of doing that. And that really takes away from how efficient you are. So. I definitely went through that period of time where I wasted a lot of time uh, in my younger years, but I wised up to it. <laughs> and now the point is, is that I am, I actually am able to share um, my advice with you. So for those of you who are new to my channel, maybe you're just finding me today in this video. My name's Jennifer and I am, I'm married. I, I'm a wife. I have three children and I have another baby on the way and we homeschool our children and my husband and I both work from home. Um, I'm a writer and I write books and I have three published books out and another one coming out next year. And um, I really love my life. I love my hobbies like YouTube and I love writing and I love, I love family life. I love all of it. And I'm a very, I'm the type of person who's very passionate um, about life and I strive to live a passionate life. I think that being efficient and having a purpose aids to uh, my passionate life um, as much as possible because I just, I wake up every day and yes, my to-do list is very long, but so is yours. I mean, I'm not saying I'm special or anything. Everybody has so much to do, but I try to tackle it all with a very positive attitude and think, okay, what's the best way for me to get all of this done? I have to say quickly that our family motto is from Proverbs 6.6. 6 which is, go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. And I'm always saying that to my children and we, we kind of laugh about it now. When someone's being lazy, we say, go to the ant, thou sluggard. <laughs> they love the word sluggard. But I love Proverbs 6, 6 through 8, because um, I'll, I'll keep reading. It says, which having no guide, overseer or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. So what, what is it saying? When you look at ants, they are very efficient, aren't they? Almost too efficient, annoyingly so. <laughs> but they're not, they have a mission and they are on a path and they get things done. And they don't have an overseer or a ruler, but they get things done and uh, they prepare. They are big preparers, so they prepare for the season ahead. And prepare is such a huge word if you are trying to be efficient. So that is honestly our family's efficiency um, motto. And so I'm always talking to my children about this. So we always say, go to the end, thou sluggard. That's the first thing that <laughs> where we go to. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you a list of ways 
that I am efficient. Starting with my first tip is that I wake up earlier than my family. This is very important, especially for mothers, to wake up before your children uh, and even before your husband if you can. Some husbands are really early risers. But wake up before your family so that you can be prepared in any way that you need to be prepared. And that could involve, if you have to make them lunches, it could involve um, if you need to plan and schedule your day, or if you simply want to get dressed and look presentable and take a shower, all of that stuff, try to get up before your family. Because if you get up you know, 10 minutes before them or with them, you're always going to feel like you're playing catch up. Because as soon as your husband and children wake up, they want things from you. <laughs> they want breakfast, they want this, they want that, they want this, and you are suddenly taking care of all of their needs and yours haven't been met. So I wake up very early. I usually wake up at 5.30 in the morning. And thankfully my family, um, my children all sleep late. Even my two year old does. So if I let them go every day, they will sleep till about 8.30. That gives me three hours in the morning where I can accomplish things and get things done. So I wake up, I read, I'm relaxed. I'm not stressed about anything. Um, I can get up and get ready for the day. I can drink water. I can even eat breakfast if I'm hungry, although I usually wait until they wake up to eat breakfast. So I do wake up early, and that is when I do get at least one hour's work in. So whether I'm writing a book, that's when I'll do it, or I edit videos or write my blogs, um, or any of that stuff that I do for YouTube, I'll do all of that in the morning before they wake up. It won't always be this way. You might have a child who's a really early riser and my children used to wake up very early. And, um, or you might be going through a season of life where you cannot wake up that early. I'm about to have another baby in a few months and I know that for the first maybe four months, I'm not going to be setting my alarm for 5.30 in the morning. I'm just going to try to get as much sleep as possible. So you'll go through phases in life where you can't wake up that early. But I recommend waking up at least 45 minutes to an hour before your family, if not a few hours before they wake up. And everybody's to-do list is different, but if you can just accomplish those things in the quiet hours of the morning before the chaos begins, you would just be surprised how it starts your day off. My second tip is to stop watching television. And I, I've gone through phases in my life, like I said, where I've watched a lot of television. Um, and then as I got older, I wasn't as interested in it, but it's almost like you feel like you have to watch a show because everybody has a show and everyone's talking about this show or that show. And, and you, you feel like, you know, with your husband at night, you just, you have to watch a show. And especially with Netflix, if you find a good one, then you just want to kind of binge watch it. Well, my husband and I did used to do that. And we used to have shows that we would watch together. But we found that it just wasn't enriching anymore and we just didn't enjoy it. And we felt like we were being um, kind of like zombies. So I'm not criticizing anybody who watches television. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I get it. I'm tired and sometimes I just want to zone out and just watch a good show. So I totally understand that. Uh, but I can honestly tell you that we have, we don't even have, we don't have cable or anything. Uh, we do have Pure Flix and Amazon Prime for the kids to watch because they do watch television. But my husband and I don't watch television anymore. Uh, we will watch an occasional movie together, but we just find, I don't know, I, my life is a lot more enriching since I cut it out. I do not know who the latest American Idol person is, or The Voice, or any of those reality TV shows. I have no clue who they are. I don't know the latest drama on The Real Housewives. I don't know any of it, and I'm so much better off for it, I feel like. Um, what do I do in the evening? My husband and I talk a lot. We're always talking to each other in these conversations. We talk, um, instead of watching TV, I do watch YouTube channels um, throughout the day. So usually when I'm cleaning, or doing another project, filing away papers, grading things, I will have a YouTube video on in the background. So I do watch things, so I do watch YouTube. I also listen to audiobooks and I listen to music. And I also read. So I was finding that when I was watching TV, I was not reading anymore because I didn't have time for both. So I've just decided that reading is so much more important to me than watching television. So 
Um, I am reading books, I am listening to audiobooks, and that type of thing. And honestly, when you cut out television, you give yourself a few hours each day because most of us sit down for at least one hour to watch a show, sometimes two or three hours if you're you know, binge watching a show, watching back-to-back -back episodes. Just think of what you could do with three extra hours. And so I would recommend cutting it out. Okay. My third tip is to try not to waste time on social media. And I say try because I'm gonna be very honest with you. I do go on social media. Um, I have to go on for my work. So I do go on for face, I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And so I post all of, you know, the, what you're watching now, I will post this on Facebook. Um, but it can be such a rabbit hole trip when you go on Facebook and you just, you can waste so much time. And you know the people who post, you know, five, five, ten times a day, that takes a lot of time and energy and that is time wasted. So I try not to go on social media. If I have to post something for the blog or for work, I will target it, just go, I will post it, and then I will get off. <laughs> try to respond to a few people, maybe click like on a few comments, and then I leave because I know what a time waster it is. And I know that that is a time waster for a lot of people. So if you could just disengage from social media, from using it as much as you do, if it's an issue for you, that is a major um, help with being efficient and getting things done during the day. My fourth tip is to make goals for yourself. I'm always making goals. And uh, for example, we are on summer break right now. We homeschool our kids, but we're taking about a month or so off. Um, actually, by the time you see this video, I might be starting up again. But my goals um, while I was on break was to organize the pantry, and I did a video on that, which I will put up here. Organize the pantry, get on top of the filing, because we finally bought filing cabinets, and I still haven't done that yet as I've done this video because it is literally my least favorite chore ever. But I will get on top of the filing. Um, organize the homeschool room, which we've also done. I make goals with the household work, uh, with cleaning. Of course, I make goals with my professional work as well, and I have to do that. Um, I am currently waiting for my copy edits to arrive for my, my fourth book, Connoisseur Kids. So once I get that, I will, um, I will make goals. So knowing that my copy edits are coming, I have done a lot of videos for YouTube in advance because I know that when I'm working on my copy edits, I will not have time to do my blog and YouTube channel. So I'm taking that into consideration and I am uh, doing some future videos in advance. In fact, today I already shot an interview with Nikki Moreno from Inspired by Nikki, which you will see on Thursday. That's why you're going to see me in the same outfit. So I make goals professional and personal. My next tip is to make schedules and routines. This is a must for me. And um, a lot of people think that living a passionate life is just you know flying by the seat of your pants, kind of whimsy type thing, where you just, you know, um, just do what you want to do and just enjoy what you do. But I find that the structure of living a life with uh, schedules and routines allows me much more freedom. So I have a cleaning routine and I could go into a more detailed cleaning routine video with you, maybe in a natural home with Jennifer video. So I do have a cleaning routine. Um, I have a work routine, um, a cooking routine that I'm into. I just love familiarity and routines. And that's why sometimes when we travel abroad for so long, it's hard for me because I, I don't have my routines anymore and I have to create new ones. So I'm definitely a creature of habit and routines. Um, if, uh, if you find that you are falling behind on the housework, for example, you must give yourself a cleaning schedule and help your family implement that with you. So you, you just have to, and, and you must try to stick to it as best you can, otherwise you will fall behind on the housework. For example, I've mentioned I do clean every day, but on Tuesdays and Saturdays, those are my big kind of cleaning days. Saturdays, I do all of the sheets. Uh, Tuesdays, I do all the towels. I do a load of towels as well throughout the week as needed. Um, and then I do clothes throughout the week as needed. So that's an example of my laundry routine, just to be quick with you. Um, but if I don't do that, if I don't do the sheets on Saturday, uh, well, then Sunday comes and then we're busy and then, you know, and then it just, it doesn't get done. So I'm very, very specific about that. Now, if I wake up really early before my family, um, I can tackle some of those routines. 
obviously not the sheets because everyone's still sleeping, but <laughs> I could do the towels or something else, or, or I could be flexible and switch and maybe do a load of laundry, uh, clothes laundry, that type of thing. But try to implement routines and, and try to stick to them. It's very important and it, it really helps with efficiency. So my next tip is to plan. I do plan, I use a planner and this is the planner that I use. I use the happy planner that I got uh, from Michaels. And I also use um, you know, the calendar on my phone. So it just depends. If I have an appointment or something that's important, I will put it in my phone along with directions and an alert for um, the time that I should leave. Basically taking traffic into consideration. And then with my planner here, um, I go through it and I put, Notes, I do a lot of stuff for the children, like um, homeschool schedule, doctor's appointments. I do um, all of my YouTube scheduling in my planner, so because I don't need that in my phone. So I have a lot of things here, social engagements and stuff like that, and that helps me stay on top of everything. And I'm able to just you know, stick to my schedule and not miss appointments and, and forget things like that. Last tip for you has to do with cooking and I like to meal plan. And I will always plan out the meals for the week and I love freezer cooking. And you know that I do, I do a lot of videos on freezer cooking and I have a lot of them on this channel. And I love doing this and we don't have a freezer meal every day. But I tell you what, a freezer meal that I have made has saved us on so many occasions where suddenly I forgot about dinner and it's 4.45 so I just break out the instant pot and I put the freezer meal in it, you know? Or, um, or I know that I have a lot of people coming to my house for dinner, a lot of children, maybe my nephews. I just put the enchilada casserole in the oven and everybody has dinner along with a salad. So it's, I love having my freezer stocked with freezer meals. That really helps um, not order takeout all the time. And I also uh, plan my meals as well. I really do recommend doing all of that. Now I can go into more detail about each of these subjects if you would like. If you would like to know more about anything I've talked about, please let me know in the comment section below. But there is, Something about me and uh, my personality, and I, maybe you can relate to this, but when I am, I, I'm in a zone usually. So if I am working, let's say I'm editing a YouTube video or writing my book or uploading something and I'm working, I do not want to be pulled out of it. So let's say I'm doing that and then the, the kids wake up and I'm thinking, oh no, this is, no, you know, <laughs> I just want to keep going because that's how I am. I could just work all day long, right? But it's, I think it's healthy to take breaks. So it's funny because then the children will wake up and then, okay, I have to completely put away all work because I don't work when I'm with them. So I put it away and then I get into the zone with them where I'm making breakfast and I'm cleaning the house or we're doing school or even we're just playing in the afternoon and then I remember that I have to get back to work later because I also work after they go to sleep. I forgot to mention that as well. <laughs> um, so, and then it's funny because when I realize I have to go back to work and go back to the work that I didn't want to leave, I don't want to do that either. I just want to stay with my kids and play with them and be with them. <laughs> so that, that's how I am. I don't know. Can you relate to that? Um, I'm very much so a person that's in the zone and when I'm in it, I just don't want to change. I don't like change. So. Um, but I think that that's a good thing. Now, all of these things combined, they help me to be efficient and that is how I get everything done. You know, people always ask me, do I have a housekeeper? Do I have a nanny? Um, no, I don't, I don't have either of those things. I do it myself with my family and I also, you know, I don't have an assistant or anything. I, all of the work that I do with my writing and everything, I do it myself. But you would just be amazed how when you cut out the time wasters in your life, social media, television, whatever it is that's taking up a lot of your time, when you cut that out, you would just be amazed at how much you can accomplish. And that is where I am right now. And I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm a very happy person. And I, <laughs> you know, some people might take pity on me and think, oh, she doesn't have a life, but I do have a life. And um, I, I just, I love my life and I live it very richly. And spending time with my family is my favorite thing. So 
I get to do that all day long, which is nice. And then it is nice to break off from that and then do work. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it provided inspiration for you on how you can be more efficient. If you have any great tips to share with us, please leave them in the comments section below. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, please leave them below as well. You are going to see four videos from me this week. There's this one today. I'm going to have two natural home with Jennifer videos and then my interview with Nikki Moreno on Thursday. So I'm really looking forward to spending the week with you. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye.